All right, do it yourself, Dad, back again. Uh, today we're going to be changing the oil in our lawnmower. It's a Troy built uh, seven speed transmission. Now, if you'll come over, we'll kind of talk about a little bit of the specs of it. Uh, just so if you're trying to figure out, just make sure that you change the oil correctly. Um, this is a pony line tractor. Like I said, it's a Troy built model, uh, 42 inch twin blade. Um, it's a Briggs and Stratton uh, engine. That's key to note that, 17 and a half horsepower. Um, and like I said, you know, seven speed shift on the go transmission. Uh, so some of the tools that you're gonna need for this project are, uh, you know, you're gonna need some gloves. Um, you know, this, uh, your tractor, it came with uh, uh, a little, little tray and you can need that just to, you can kind of come over here just to get the oil to drain and actually just fits right underneath there. The oil just drains out into whatever container you're using uh, to replace the oil. So you need that. Um, and of course we got the container with the funnel. Um, you can use whatever container you like. We, actually, we have that bottle there. Uh, you can use a, uh, a gallon jug or whatever, whatever's kind of empty in your kitchen, if you will. Uh, but you're also going to need, uh, you can use a number of things. I chose to use a half inch wrench just to get that bolt off to drain that oil. Uh, we got a Briggs & Stratton SAE 30, that's what it's going to take. In this case we got our 48 ounces. Uh, in this case we're probably going to put the 44 in there. Notice uh, oil still looks decent. You know we, had, we bought this last year but um, it's recommended to change out um, every summer. So before you start your next summer, change out your oil each summer. That's kind of your your reset. So kind of picture, you know, that tape that's in your window of your car that says the next time you need to change your oil. Just be thinking of it as each summer you change that oil. So, uh, so we're going to put that back in, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started and get everything prepped and ready, and then we'll take a look at getting the oil drained. All right, so we got our um, our little uh, drip pan here. We're going to stake it and put it up underneath where we're going to take that bolt off. You want to put that on first because, like I said, it can get messy, okay, when just getting that bolt off. Uh, our oil is going to drain here and go into our container. Uh, funnels recommended. It's easy. It kind of uh, minimizes the spill. I'm going to kind of make shift, kind of put my foot up underneath there and get our wrench. Um, this is a half inch like I was stating earlier. And we're just going to take that bolt off. So. Going to go counterclockwise, so from uh, you know the right to left as you're facing to get the bolt off. You know, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Everybody remembers that phrase, right? So again, it can get messy. Kind of get it just to enough where you can turn it. Almost got that off. Let's see. All right. Here comes the oil. Can get kind of messy. And we'll be back with you in a minute after it's drained out. All right, here we are. So we got all the oil drained. It, it took about, um, I'd say about four minutes for that all that oil to drain out of there. You get a little leakage in some spots. Just make sure you kind of clean that up so you don't get that smell later um, after you run it and it heats up and that sort of thing. So we're going to put our bolt back on um, and it's going to go, you know, turn to your clockwise. Uh, just, do that. just make sure you do that easy so that screw goes in there correctly. Be cautious of how hot it can be. This one's been sitting for a minute so we're okay but because if you didn't let it run earlier, you just want to be careful. All right, so I got that hand tight, now I'm just gonna get it over. on 
they're just snug. Now we're going to get our oil. So like I was telling you earlier, uh, we got a Briggs & Stratton SAE 30. That's what it's going to take. In this case, we got our 48 ounces. Uh, in this case, we're probably going to put the 44 in there. Um, uh, that's, that's really what it's calling for um, to, um, uh, to get it filled up for where it's uh, supposed to be. So we're going to get that put in there. All right, we're gonna get her all poured in. And just be patient with it, because otherwise you can spill it real easily. I'm gonna kinda get most of it in there. I'm gonna check it with the dipstick. You really only need about 44 ounces in there, and this is 48 ounces. So we'll let her drain in for a minute. You always wanna give it a couple minutes to settle, because I've always gotta go through those components inside. Uh, we're gonna get the stick on there. Uh, we, we, we just definitely wanna make sure, as you can see, it's uh, right between those two holes right there. That's our sweet spot. That's where we want that oil to be filled up into. So. That on, let it drain for a couple minutes, then we'll wipe it, put it back in, make sure it looks good. If not, we can add the rest. All right, so we're gonna check it. So we, I gave it just about two minutes to let it see, so we ease it out of there and see. We'll wipe it off here to make sure it's right on where it needs to be. You can see that if it gives it justice there, but it's right on the money. It is right on the sweet spot where it needs to be. And we got about four ounces of oil left in there. Uh, we'll save that. Hopefully we don't have to use it until next time. So thanks for tuning in. Remember, like and subscribe to the video. Do it yourself, Dad. See you next time.